So let's talk about premature ejaculation because so many people have said that premature ejaculation is quickie. And I'm here to tell you that premature ejaculation is not quickie. Okay, there are so many reasons why a man will have premature ejaculation and it's definitely not quickie. Okay, so what is premature ejaculation? Premature ejaculation is when a man releases a semen in not more than two minutes, except he is having a quickie. Okay, when a man comes before all, before two minutes, in in not more than two minutes, that is premature ejaculation. Except the man is having a quickie, but if it's not a quickie, then it is called premature ejaculation so on today's video i'm going to be telling you how to stop premature ejaculation proven ways that you can you know you can stop premature ejaculation there are so many reasons why a man could have premature ejaculation it could be as a result of the inflammation of the prostate it could be as a result of erectile dysfunction so you need to go for proper checkup at the hospital to be sure that there is nothing medically wrong with you and if there's something medically wrong with you it can actually be fixed so you need to be sure go to the hospital go for checkup if you're experiencing anything like premature ejaculation please go to the hospital all right for proper checkup because it can be fixed so let's talk about how to get rid of premature ejaculation there are so many ways you can prevent premature ejaculation if it is not a medical condition so the first way here you can prevent premature ejaculation is by using contraceptive like a condom yes using a condom reduces friction okay when you're using a condom the pleasure that comes won't be too much compared to when you are not using a condom you know what i'm talking about so if you want to prevent premature ejaculation if you don't want to come if you don't want to to finish before time you need to use a condom yes it reduces friction and you know even the pleasure because the pleasure won't be that much and it will help you to buy time okay so guys another way to prevent premature ejaculation is by avoiding your favorite position yes don't start with your favorite position everybody has that position that drives them crazy okay so you wouldn't want to start with that position because you would definitely finish faster so you have to you need to avoid your favorite position if you really want to last longer and make your partner happy okay so about your favorite position at the beginning you can do it at the end when you both are satisfied okay your partner is okay then you can you know want to try your favorite position so you can come faster but don't start it with your favorite position so one thing you should know about intercourse is this the tip of the joystick and the shaft are the most sensitive parts of the joystick so when you are going deeper and deeper and deeper and then the the balls are hitting harder on the woman's body there is a possibility that you are going to come faster so you need to avoid positions that that makes the the balls to be hitting harder on the woman's body or, or having contact too much contact with the woman's body because it will make you to come faster than expected so avoid positions that drives you crazy initially okay don't start with those positions that makes you so crazy and you know makes you give you so much pleasure start with you know other positions that you don't really like never start with your favorite position if you really want to last longer in the bedroom so another way to prevent premature ejaculation is by practicing the pause and go method the pause and go method is when you are going and going and going and then you realize that you are about to come and then you pause and then pull out but before you practice this you need to communicate with your partner you need to let your partner know what you are doing so she won't be surprised at what you are going to do about like what is going on so you need to let her know that you don't want to come faster so she will cooperate with you 
okay so it's actually easy when you are doing it with with your with your partner like someone that you have been with for for a long time okay but if it is a new girl she's going to see you as a weird person or something or maybe she might understand but it's important that you communicate with your partner if you want to practice the post and go method it will definitely make you to last longer so, so when you're practicing the post and go method when you pull out don't try to touch her body don't try to do anything don't try to move just stay still okay don't try to touch anything because if you try to touch anything at that point you will definitely come so when you pause and pull out stay still for like 10 to 15 seconds before you do anything because if you move an inch at that point to try to do anything you will come okay you will definitely come and it will be something that you will be happy about so you need to wait for like 10 to 15 seconds so that all those build up semen can drop back into your body and then give you more time more minutes to to continue having your fun okay like i said this this person go method can actually help you a lot if you are doing it well and stick to the rules she will definitely get it right so another trick that most men use when they are practicing the pause and go method is this when they pull out they hold the head of the joystick and give it like a tiny pinch that tiny pinch will help to like to return the the semen that was about to come out it will, it will return the semen that was about to come out and then it will give them more time. So, when you're practicing the person go method, try to hold the head of your joystick, like give it a tiny pinch on the head and hold it. It will help to like re, re, reverse the, the, the semen that was built up and was about to, you know, to come out from the joystick. It will help to give you more time and you know to last longer in the bedroom so the last one here on my list is removing your focus okay removing your mind okay not putting all your concentration on the act okay if you put all your concentration on the act you will definitely come because all your mind everything is on what you are doing so you need to distract yourself a little think about work think about school think about other things that can you know can that can take your mind away from what is going on okay that will help you to last longer so reduce or remove your mind remove your concentration from the act if you really want to last longer in the bedroom so just make sure that your mind is not focused on her body you know when you see all the beauty all the hot all the sexy you know sexiness it's really going to drive you crazy so what you do is you remove your mind move you move your mind remove your concentration you know think of other things and then it will really help you to last longer so these are my few tips on how to prevent premature ejaculation if you've been having this i hope this video is going to help you to stop it because it works trust me it works if you do it right you will definitely get it right okay so like i said first first make sure you go for checkup at the hospital because they need to check you and know that your condition is not medical Okay, if it is not medical, then trust me, these tips I'm, I'm, I've given you here are definitely going to help you to prevent premature ejaculation. Until then, please remember to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and, give, and see you in my next video. And I love you. Bye.